So now that we're in Unit 8, we're doing integration. We're actually doing the exact opposite of what we've been doing the whole course. Up until now, we've been finding the derivative of a function. Now we're going to do what's called finding the integral, or we're going to integrate the function. So basically what we have here is I've given you what the derivative is. The derivative of the function is 8x plus 5. Your job is to find what that function originally was. So, what was f of x? Well, if you start looking at it and thinking about it, when we found the derivative, we always subtracted one from the exponent. So, to find the integral, we'll have to add one to the exponent. So, we're going to have some kind of x squared to give us the 8x. So, what would we have to take the derivative of to get 8x? Well, it would have had to be 4 x squared. What would have given us a derivative of 5? Well, to get a derivative of 5, we would have had to have 5x. So that could be our answer. But there is one other thing that we need to look at. Could we have had a constant term at the end of this function? Could it have been 4x squared plus 5x plus 2? or plus 7, or minus 6. The problem is we don't know. It could have been any of those, or it could have been something completely different. So the way that we deal with that is we say that we had plus c at the end. c just represents a constant. We don't know what it was, because when we took the derivative to get 8x plus 5, the constant derivative goes to 0. So that is the function with derivative 8x plus 5.